Hey everyone, springtime is here. The dogwoods are blooming and it's time to prepare the spring garden for planting. Spring is here, bringing with it a chance to start the garden fresh and new. Today, I will show you how I prepare for a successful garden with minimal work. Although I don't believe that work is a bad thing, considering the fact that this garden is my gym and health food store. Now, stay with me and later I will reveal the number one secret for our successful gardens. First, I will begin by trimming the plants that grew over the winter with a string trimmer. Most of this growth is not a problem, but is actually a help provided by nature. What some would consider just weeds are a cover for the soil, giving it protection, and when I cut this growth, it will lay on top of the ground, again protecting the soil and eventually feeding the soil microbes. There are two plants that I must deal with that are very challenging and invasive. They are Bermuda grass and Johnson grass, with Bermuda grass being the most invasive and persistent. I prefer not to use black plastic in the garden, however, smothering Bermuda grass is one good reason to use it rather than a natural mulch. While I am preparing the gardens, our plants are sitting in a sunny window waiting for warmer weather and for the garden to be made ready. And sweet potato plants are growing on our kitchen windowsill. This is the second year that we will have a garden in this area. I am trimming the winter growth that came up voluntarily as I did in the other garden. Prior to this, it was a grassy area that we kept mowed. Last year, in the spring, I tilled the ground two times to eliminate the grass that was growing. Then, with a hoe, I formed two raised beds and then mulched the area with hay. Sweet potatoes were planted here last year, as you can see in the attached photo. They produced an abundant crop of sweet potatoes that we are still enjoying. In this area, I am trimming a cover crop of wheat and crimson clover that I planted last fall. You can see that it has produced more green material than the volunteer winter growth. I am moving our Premier One electric fence so that Larry can mow under it. Without fencing, raccoons, possums, and deer make nightly raids on our gardens. The trimming is finished and you can see how much plant material is left on top of the ground. As it decomposes, it will become food for soil microbes and condition the soil. Do you know that there are more microbes in one teaspoon of healthy soil than there are people on earth? These microbes play a key role in plant nutrition and disease resistance. Organic matter decomposition serves two functions for the microorganisms, providing energy for growth and supplying carbon for the formation of new cells. A majority of microbes in the soil exist under starvation conditions, and thus they tend to be in a dormant state, especially in tilled soils. I am raking the plant material that was cut in the grassy area into the garden area to add to the surface organic matter in the garden. Through the years, we have used several different materials for mulch or ground cover. They include hay, straw, 
aged chipped wood and black plastic. Hay works very well and it is more available for us. We are careful to use hay that has not been sprayed with chemicals in the growing process. Black plastic works well for some plants in some situations. However, it does not provide food for the soil microbes as hay and other plant materials do. We do get some seeds along with the hay which is a bit of a challenge, but nothing we cannot handle with minimum effort. I am spreading hay on a bed that is being prepared for sweet potatoes. I am planting lettuce in this bed. In order to plant in a mulched bed, I simply pull the hay apart exposing the soil, then dig in the soil and plant as usual. It does take a little longer to plant in a mulched bed. However, it more than makes up for that later in weed control, moisture retention, soil protection, and food for microbes. If the soil is very cool, then I need to pull the hay apart several days prior to planting and allow the soil to warm before I plant. Now, what is the secret to our successful garden? The answer is mulch ground cover. Mulch can be hay, leaves, straw, or aged wood chips. Mulch prevents weed growth. Mulch protects the soil and holds in moisture. When it decomposes, it improves soil structure and feeds the soil life. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.